Costa Concordia ran aground off the Italian island of Giglio in January 2012, claiming 32 lives. In 2015, Captain Francesco Scatino was convicted for manslaughter, causing a maritime accident and abandoning ship. He was sentenced to 16 years in jail, but will remain free until he's exhausted the appeals process. The disaster led to the biggest salvage operation in maritime history. The first stage involved anchoring and stabilizing the ship, using cables to attach turrets to the vessel and stop it from sliding along the seabed. Next, a false bottom was created by filling the empty space between the rocks on which the wreck was resting with cement-filled bags. Six platforms, three large and three small, were then mounted. Metal tanks designed to act as floats were welded to the port side and filled with water. The vessel was then slowly hoisted upright onto the false seabed using cables and more water-filled tanks attached to the other side. The hull was left resting on the false base at a depth of some 30 metres before water was released from the crates, providing the buoyancy needed to refloat the wreck. It was then towed to the port of Genoa and dismantled.